In this next gen cam power mill highlights video, we're going to take a look at how to select plunge moves uh, within toolpaths like a roughing or rest roughing toolpath. In this example file that I have here, you'll see that I've got several roughing and rest roughing toolpaths already calculated. When they went through the calculation, you'll see that the majority of them have our blue check mark indicating that they are both gouge free as well as collision free. Um, and when we calculated this, we actually got a pop-up stating that there were still plunge moves down into some stock regions, or that at least Power Mill believes there are some plunge moves within some regions. Now, we can recreate this, and I've created a copy of the toolpath for this. Uh, we can recreate the alarm just simply by coming up and altering maybe one of our lead-in, lead-out. We don't have any lead-in, lead-out defined for this as the example, but if I say maybe create a horizontal arc with this, real fast at 90 degrees with an eighth inch radius and just hit apply, Power Mill will give me the pop-up that we would get on calculation and that is that plunge moves into stock exists at the start of some of the toolpath segments. Now, Power Mill only knows this because what was available for us to cut with that flute failed on those lead in lead out. It couldn't fit the lead in lead out definition either within the toolpath or within our lead in lead out options with our linking uh, because of the tool size maybe or the geometry whatever the case might be however now that we have a successful toolpath we want to go ahead and select those and apply a lead in lead out that's going to get us successfully within uh, the majority of the region but to select these let's go ahead and right click on the toolpath and in the right click menu under the edit flyout towards the bottom middle region right here you'll see that we have select plunges into stock now once you select that Palomo is going to select all of those areas that it found that have plunge moves and not lead in, lead out that may be in or outside of the stock region. Once selected, go ahead and hide the model to get a little better view. And you can kind of see this is just in some of those deeper regions right there. Now with these selected, it makes it a lot easier to come in and fix those lead in lead out moves just by locally applying maybe a ramp area to lead into them and perhaps the ramp that we defined originally wasn't tight enough maybe we need to go to 0.5 TDU or tool diameter units or 50 percent of the tool there uh, let's go ahead and give this a smaller incremental height to go with and let's always ramp this just to force the ramp out on the selected moves and hit the local update that's going to give us helical moves in there. Now you'll note that once that is done, we didn't get the pop-up stating that there may be plunge moves within the region. So that's how we can effectively apply different lead-in, lead-out moves to selected plunge moves inside of Power Mill. Again, that's in the right-click, Edit Flyout, Select Plunge Moves into Stock. I hope you found this highlight video helpful. Thanks for watching.